So as we were discussing systemizing within your business and taking it to a higher level. So we've got a reputation for systems and processes. It's what powers our business. So I'm going to share the screen, get straight into it. So we were just updating our systems and processes, and Sam is uh, known as CRM Sam. Um, and so we were just looking at the naming protocols of some of our custom fields. Now, for some people, that might fly straight over your head, but it's data that's inputted. You know, this is step 199 right there. And so it's data that's inputted way up ahead, above, and then is passed through, P-A-R-S-E-D, passed through to here. And we're just talking about the naming protocols because when you've got a lot of data, you've got to make sure that the first words all line up. And so we were going through, you know, because some clients have had a previous CRM, some haven't. Uh, there's the name of the software, the software username, password, and so it goes on. So we gather that information and then it gets put through our processes. So when we're at step 199, we don't have to go looking for the information. Boom, it's there. The trouble is when you've got hundreds of custom fields that are passing information through, if you're not using the same uh, naming protocols, it's a problem. So we're saying, okay, well, this is all about content management. It's a CRM. So do we start with CRM or do we start with contact? The consensus was, after much discussion, um, that we would go with contact. So we're going to just share quickly where we go through. So we're step 199, post-it note made. Um, and we're going to go up to step 95, post it on the post it note. Um, and so we're actually just going to show you how we do that. So when Sam is onboarding a client uh, with our high level uh, onboarding package, she will then do a personalization call with the client, gather so much information. And that call runs for what, about an hour, Sam? Is that right? Yeah, roughly an hour. Yeah, yeah. So it can be a little bit shorter, a little bit more, depending on the client, what data they have and what clarity they have. So we're at step yeah. 95 and I'm not, oh, there we go. So we, this is the software we use. It's Process Street. But look, whether you do this in a Word document to start with, it's not about the software. It's about starting from scratch. Now, we're sort of eight months in, and this whole process has gone from 100 steps, I think, up to 300, is it? A lot. Uh, be getting close anyway, yeah. yeah. So we're going to now change this from previous CRM because the thing is when we use the custom tool, and I'll just quickly show you what that mean, looks like. I'll just do a data entry here. i use a little magic wand. And if I go, uh, I've got to remember that the CRM information is under P previous. Well, that's going to be difficult to remember. So this was sort of done on the fly, that step. And now we're sort of updating. We do it what we call process street fridays so we're now going to rename that contact because this is to do with contacts you know so do we call it contacts or just contacts Sam? what do you think leave the s i reckon sorry leave the Con s leave the s there yep cool okay so we can either do contact space that space or if you want to save characters you can use a colon so contacts, previous CRM. So, you know, this is the multi-choice. Yes, no, only project management software. So if we want to add others or vary these, we can. But we've got the right protocols. And now, now that we've changed that naming protocol, we need to change it where the data passes through too. So it's in multiple areas. You've got to be very careful in changing that uh, raw data because it will then uh, alter everything. And you can remember to update it. So when I was copying and pasted, I've noticed I've got a white space there. Boom, put that in. Yep, we're good. Um, name of CRM. So we can actually probably just lose the name, the word name, because I want to keep this as short as we can. Contact CRM. Uh, yeah, we could just put software name. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it might not be a CRM. Uh, yeah, it could be a project software. And so that's just an open text. Uh, and then we're going to use the same naming protocol because username, password starts with a U, starts with a P. So when you're using a little magic tool, that's not going to all be in the same area. 
and so that is uh, this means that they're all going to be grouped together does that make sense so now we've got a message set up that goes to the client uh, yada yada whatever there's no data passing data in there so we're able yeah. to rip back down to step 199 now sam you're confident with that yeah. that data is that's the first place that data gets passed through right yeah so we'll eventually get there so you can see i'm telling a true story about how much data there is um there's a lot they're setting up a complete crm so 199 and okay that's not it where is it sam um you sure it's not there no it's not there uh, oh it's in this message maybe is it oh this is just getting awkward well, that's one uh, yeah, 199 you're at 200 before so 200 now click on 199 for me again okay and then scroll down oh yeah, yeah. There we go. that was just a test so you can see that was the previous name now i need to update that because that's now invalid data so my personal protocol is bold this to draw your attention to it generally um and then we need to delete that use the new little magic wand whoa okay let's try that again my lordy put that there magic wand and because we've used contact as the precursor you can see all of that data is now grouped together. So it's very easy for me to compile that into situ. So what's the first one? Uh, software name? Oh, no. CRM. Oh, yeah. There we go. Uh, and then name of software. So we'll just delete that. Magic wand. Contact still there. What was software it? name? what software name yep. uh, and then we're going to go again oh, which one? Username. username thanks for that we've been on this for a few hours so a little bit of fatigue setting in uh, context password thank you and that there last one context two factor yep Beautiful. Okay, so that's all updated. So I'll go through and format that now to lowercase. This is just my irks and quirks. I always bold that and have that. Uh, so that'll pass through. It'll tell us what previous, whether they had a previous CRM, yes, no, uh, or otherwise the software uh, that they used. And you can see the page name protocols are shorter, but everything is grouped together. So that's really important. And that is such a time saver like as you go on and you develop it down to sort of, well, let's have a look and see how many steps there are, um, this level of complexity. So 258. So basically my team can, and you can see the different team members there, running around project manager, Sam, CRM, Sam, tech, Jad, and so it goes on. Uh, and I'll just zoom right up. So basically all of the data can get inputted here by me, some will get inputted by my project manager and then Sam takes over and runs the whole three thing. She will do the personalization call, which gathers all of the information from the client, uh, what sort of meetings they want, what software they have. Uh, there's a whole range of data that gets inputted into uh, this section here. And then the data is passed through the rest of the process for the rest of the team to take the actions they need to do. Works a treat. Thanks, Sam. We, do it. Right, yeah, we finally did it. Yay.